So in the series of learning Python programming language, in the previous video we have seen range function in Python. So based on that we will be using, we will be doing one more coding exercise. So this is very simple also. You have to write on a program to sum, to find out sum of all the even numbers from 1 to 100 including 1 and 100, right. So hint is just you can use range function, but sum of even numbers only from 1 to 100. In the previous video we have seen sum of all the numbers from 1 to 100, but this time only even numbers. So there are two ways to do this exercise. So I think this, this is very simple, no need to give you some hint at all. So let's pause the video and try this out. So I hope now you have done this. Let's do this. There are two ways to do this exercise, right? We will discuss both the ways. Total is equal to 0 and in range 1, 2, 1, 0, 1. One way is we can do something like this. We will be doing from 2 to 1, 0, 1 and we will increase, we will take the step size 2. See by default first would be 2. What it will print? First would be 2 i then i plus k, k is 2, 2 plus 2, 4, then 6, then 8, all the way till 100, right. So these all are even numbers, you got even numbers, now you can simply do total, if first i in i we will be having 2, second time in i we will be having 4, so this i would be added in this total and we will be getting sum of even number only, 2, 5. 5, 0. Second, second way is if you do not provide here this third thing. So till 1, so now it will print what 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 till 100 right the range. But I want to uh, do some of only these even numbers. So yeah we have an idea oh sorry here what we can do we can write down we can check if this i we can check the number is even or not if this i mode 2 equal to equal to 0 means it would be completely divisible by 2 then definitely it would be even number so there only then only we will do total okay so this total would be now in this for loop indented right and after that we can simply print this Okay, I hope now you got this. The second way is this. Let's run this and you will get the same 2550. So, I hope now you get familiar with this range function, how to use this, right? So, I hope you have done this exercise successfully. So, now I will see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.